So this video is going to be about how one uses their sketchbook to formulate ideas for a final drawing or a final project. In this case, it's for a final hand portrait that would be done in traditional pencil or pen materials. Um, and I've already drawn this, so it saves me some time. But I am going to, in real time, show you how I would go about actually coming up with what my final composition would look like for a piece like this. So let's say this is the final pose that I decided on. So not only do I draw, but I also find it important to write notes or thoughts that I'm having. Um, there's something about making it legitimate on paper that holds you accountable to that decision. So, you know, it could even be, yeah, making an asterisk, circling something, you know, pointing to the drawing. Uh, final pose, for sure. Okay. Um, and then I might, you know, make a list of things like, okay, I wanted props, symbols, um, objects associated with the hand. So, you know, I start listing like, okay, maybe I want um, uh, an arrowhead because I do archery. Um, perhaps I want a drawing tool of some kind. Um, I have tattoos, so maybe, I'm not sure if I want to include those, so maybe I ask myself a question. Um, tattoo, include it. Um, do I want this style? for the final. You know, asking yourself questions, physically writing them out also, there's a sense of finality to it, right? It's not just stirring in your head. Um, you actually have to see these notes that you're making and it's gonna hold you accountable, like I said, for when you actually need to start doing the final. Um, and I like making, you know, little speech bubbles or um, I think these were called uh, what were they once called like making word webs I believe is what they referred to as um, pencil marker the assignments definitely black and white so black and white for sure Um, and then, you know, going back to here, maybe I have an arrowhead. I'm not looking at a reference. This is, I mean, since this is just sketching out an idea, I'm just kind of going by the library in my head. And maybe there's like a, I know there's a pencil or a quill pen. Right there. Right. So this is how I like to create a dialogue with myself, a visual dialogue for something that is going to end up being a final piece. Um, there aren't any hard and fast rules to it. I, I suppose if I were to make hard and fast rules, don't just draw, write. And don't just write, draw. Do both. All right, good luck.